Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up? Who have you made better? It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big to dream big, but remember, dreams without goals are just dreams, and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It That's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you, and take good care. Bye-bye now. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, and life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show, or you can search my name, Google it, Ralph Friedrichs, and you get everything you need to know about me. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And that you can find, my friends, in Matthew 6.6. 6. So, what are your motives today, if you have any at all? Why do you think so many people don't want to go to church? Is it because they want to sleep late on Sunday morning? Well, perhaps. Or maybe they were forced to go to church every time uh, the doors were open as children and uh, now they're rebelling. Or maybe perhaps... Uh, they are afraid if they go to church, the sermon might make them feel uncomfortable or even maybe guilty. The truth does hurt. There is a saying about that. All of those are potential reasons, but one of the main criticisms of the Christian church today continues to be about the uh, hypocrisy, and no doubt there is a ton of it, uh, interestingly enough. Most people outside the church don't realize how much Jesus hates uh, hypocrisy, as well as uh, anything else. In his most famous sermon, he blasted showy giving and praying, and it was designed to impress others rather than to please God and help our fellow man. And that was a person that told me about a service that he went to. He says, the best way to give to others is to do it uh, in uh, secret. The best way to pray is to seek out a place to be alone with God and privately pour out your heart to him. It's not that Jesus is down on doing good things uh, publicly. It's the motive the ma that matters most to God. One thing's for sure, my friends, showy religious uh, hypocrites don't impress God at all. Please, don't miss out on Jesus Christ because of the uh, uh, hypocritical 
uh, hypocrite uh, uh, people in church. Yes, hypocrites, they're everywhere. But Jesus comes again, he will point them out. Because we all are human and have sinful nature. So stop being a hypocrite. Take your eyes off the people in the church and put the fresh look at Jesus and God's word. The more you see, the more you will like. Because he despises hypocrites even more than you do. Whatever you say is what you do. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a stranger can help that stranger and change their life and can absolutely make a difference in your life. I don't like hypocrites, but you will find them even in local churches. But as long as you do the right thing, pray in, in, in quietness and always reach out to God, things will never, ever uh, be difficult for you because God truly loves you. Take good care and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.